Tonight, we are pleased to receive a student demonstration of learning and recognize top district students and staff who have achieved excellence and who have made outstanding accomplishments at the state and national levels in education, their community, and beyond. First, we begin by receiving a student demonstration of learning from Tyrion Griffin, Kristen Stride, and Evan Whitaker, students from Cane Run Elementary School. These students presented to building and grounds professional at the Kentucky Chapter of Edu Educational Facility Planners International Conference held in October. The students talked about their school's innovative efforts to construct unique school grounds for efficient use of school building and grounds for student learning. Cane Run Elementary has an environmental studies magnet program. Tonight, the students will talk about their school's environmental studies magnet program and, and how it has enhanced their learning and understanding of the environment. Cane Run Environmental Magnet is a great place to learn. My name is Terry Ann Griffin and I am in fifth grade. Our building is environmentally friendly. We have geothermal heating and cooling. That means we use the resources in the earth. We did math lessons to figure out how much heat has to be used to keep our school at 70 to 73 degrees. The temperature in the earth is always around 54 degrees. The environmental changes to our building save more than $2,800 each month on energy costs. We, all, we also use solar power. The panels on our roof heat water for our school. There are solar tubes on our roof that give real sunlight into classes without windows. Natural sunlight is better for people than artificial light. Good evening. My name is Christian Stride, and I'm in the fifth grade. Our school has sturdy raised garden beds for growing vegetables, along with a Native American garden and Native Kentucky plants. We have peace gardens, donated by young brands, where we learn about different cultures. We grow food while we learn science, math, social studies, and more. Our pizza garden helped us learn about angles, more than plants grow in our gardens. Our outdoor classroom is awesome. We have a pond with plants, frogs, and dragonflies where we do a lot of observing and writing. Last spring, a pair of mallard ducks came to visit for our several days. That was really cool. Our school, do, our school also does a great job on recycling and composting. We have physical science feature where we do experiments on force and motion. We also have a huge sundial and a decomposing log. I really like earth science. We even have a map of Kentucky in the ground with rocks, fossils, and minerals in it. Used to see it. We have a big reading tree with boulder seats. There are a lot of great places to learn in our outdoor classroom. We do a, a lot of reading, writing, math, and social studies outside. All classes go on field studies to places like Black Acre, the zoo, Oxford Farm, Jefferson Memorial Forest, and more. The field studies help us to connect what we learn at school to other places in the world. Family nights that came run are one of the ways we can share what we learn with our families. We have a great environmental club where learning is real. We do robotics, gardening, and lots more. All classes at came run do several learning projects. Our school is in the community, and the community is in came run. The business partners for Rubbertown built our outdoor classroom and helped us in lots of other ways. Zion, Lubrosol, Carbine, DuPont are some of our partners. Canine Environmental Magnet really is, is a great place to grow and learn. Board member Joseph Hardesty, Hardesty, please come forward to thank the Cane Run Elementary students for their presentation. Joining in the recognition is their principal, Dr. Gwen Golfner, and magnet, co magnet coordinator, Darlene Horton. <laughs> Next, we are very proud to recognize more than 40 
distinguished JCPS students from Ballard, DuPont, Manuel, Eastern, and Seneca High Schools who have been selected as the 2013 National Merit Scholarship Program semifinalist and 2013 National Achievement Program semifinalist. Approximately 1.5 million juniors and 22,000 high schools from across the nation participated in the National Merit Scholarship Program. The program recognizes outstanding students who score very high on the preliminary scholastic aptitude test or the National Merit Scholarship qualifying test. The National Achievement Scholarship Program semifinalists will compete with more than 1,600 African American high school seniors nationwide for approximately 800 scholarships worth more than $2.5 million. Board Chair Diane Porter, please come forward to congratulate DuPont Manual High School students Nag Nagu Allery, Hannah Botts, Robin Blackman, Zach Brewer, Ava Chen, Yu Ya Ding, Ben Gaston, Michael Gosen, Zach Jones, Josephine Kim, John King, Andrew Liu, Matthew Pearson, Allison Facaro, Elizabeth Paniva, Allison Trailer, Shravahi Vishnu Botlu. Joining in the recognition is their principal, Larry Woolrich. <laughs> Board member Steve Imhoff, please come forward to congratulate Riley Nelson from Seneca High School. Joining in the recognition is their principal, Michelle Dillard. <laughs> Board member Debbie Westland, please congratulate Madison McIntyre and Quentin Wolfbook from st students from Ballot High School. <laughs> we are extremely proud to honor Mary Minyard, principal at Young Elementary School, for being awarded a grant from the National Association of Elementary School Principals and the MetLife Foundation. The grant will be used to involve parents in the community in creating a globally oriented school, an international learning community, and engaging students in transformative multi multidisciplinary experiences and service learning projects that will help prepare students to be successful in the 21st century. Grant recipients also received a toolkit of print and online resources that focus on local and global engagement, recognition in various publications, and access to a strong national web network of principals who share the same views and who are building strong learning communities. The Share the Green program was established in 2004 and has awarded more than $500,000 in grants to 250 schools across the nation. Board Chair Diane Porter, please come forward to extend congratulations to Mary. <laughs> 